Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker pork chops in a garlic caper cream sauce. Alright, I'm starting out with six center cup pork chops and I'm going to season them up quick. I'm going to start by putting some salt on them. And we're keeping the seasoning rather simple. We're not going overboard. Add some pepper. And real quick, I want to tell all the moms out there, happy Mother's Day today. Today's my mom's, well today's Mother's Day for my mom, and she's 81 years old. We're going to go down and visit her, give her a present while they're making her uh, insulated tumbler to put her ice water in or whatever she wants. And I'm going to add some granulated garlic. Don't use garlic salt because you already put salt on. If you use garlic salt, don't add salt to them. I'm going to go ahead and turn these over and season the other side while my pressure cooker heats up. Right now that my pork chops are all seasoned up, I have my pressure cooker set on saute and it's hot. I'm going to add some olive oil in here. Just enough to coat the bottom and that finishes this bottle. And I'm going to get my pork chops in here and I'm going to brown them on both sides so they're good and golden brown. All right, now that my pork chops are all nice and browned up, I'm going to add in some chicken broth. I'm going to go for about a half a cup. Now that my pork chops are done browning, I put my lid on. I'm going to set this to seal, and I'm going to make sure we're set on seal on the vent. All right, now that I have my lid on, I'm going to set this to pressure cook for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes are up, we'll do a quick release of the pressure. Okay, what I did is I left my pork chops do a natural release for 10 minutes because I had to eat the rest of my meal. And I want them to be as tender as possible. I have them tendered under foil right now, resting. I took out all of my chicken pork broth, except for a little bit, and I let it reduce down some. Now that that's reduced down pretty good, I'm going to put in about a half a cup of heavy cream. And I have to set on saute high. I'm going to put in some garlic. Now I'm using the pre-diced garlic. I'm going to go for about two teaspoons, two healthy teaspoons. And I'm going to put in my capers. Now if you're not sure what capers are, what capers are is they're little cactus flowers, the buds that haven't bloomed yet. And they're really delicious, guys. I'm going to go for about three, about three teaspoons of capers. And they're a little salty, so I'll taste this for salt before I season it. I'm going to give that a stir. Now we'll taste it for salt. Let me grab a spoon here. Salt and seasoning. It's good, it needs a little bit of salt. Guys, you would not believe the flavor coming out of that pot. A little bit of salt, a shot of pepper, give that a stir. And I'm going to allow this to reduce down just for a few minutes until it starts to thicken up. Alright, my sauce is thickened up to where I want it. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some mashed potatoes with cream corn on them and some butter parmesan asparagus go with this. And I sliced the pork chop and served the cream over top. Get in here and try this. Mm. So tender, moist. Sauce is delicious. Get in here, you cut this with your fork. It's that tender. That really wasn't hard at all, and it's really delicious. All right, there you have it. Pressure cooker pork chops and a garlic caper cream sauce. Thanks for watching, and remember, love what you eat and eat what you love.